Hey, what's up guys? So, you're about to get the uh, raw, unedited Devin Lavore right here, okay? Because my video editor broke down. Hmm. And I know there's probably a lot of other free video editors out there and everything, but you know what? Whatever. And this, uh, this, this meltdown of my video editor it led me to a question. Life is full of setbacks, right? Thing, we have a plan, we have a vision, we're trying to get somewhere, and things break down. Things don't work out the way we want them to in the moment. That's not saying that the vision is not good and it's not worth pursuing, but things get messed up. Things don't happen the way we want them to. So then, how do we handle it? Well, I think there's like two different ways that we can handle a setback. We can either let it get us down and get bummed out and lie around and eat bonbons if people still eat those. <laughs> For me, it'd be ice cream sandwiches. You heard me. But, or we can look at the situation and go, okay, this is what I can't do. What can I do? And this, me doing the unedited thing, this is my answer. I'm choosing option two. I'm like, well, what can I do? How can I get this done? because I want to do videos every day. That's that's just my thing. That's what I feel. I kind of feel like I that's what I'm supposed to be doing. And so so here I am out here in my backyard of my apartment building here, you know. There there's my apartment right there. Um, <laughs> and it's so important that when you face adversity that you handle it properly or that you grow to a place where you can handle it properly on a consistent basis sometimes we handle it well sometimes we don't you know but you can handle adversity on a consistent basis well and the bible says he who shrinks when adversity comes their strength is weak and you don't want to be that person because what is what did jesus say jesus said since the days of john the baptist that the kingdom of God suffers violence and violent men take it by force. What does that mean? Does that mean that people are terrorists coming after the kingdom? No, it just means people who are coming after the kingdom are coming after it because they are so hungry for God. They are just, they're tearing down the doors to get at God, you know? And he loves that. God, Jesus was saying an encouragement. He was saying like, wow, that's good. I like that. I love that people are doing that. That is how you're going to get to me. That is how you're going to get to know me, you know? But adversity comes, and what are you going to do? Are you going to sit on the sideline and say, oh, I can't, I can't get there. I can't do it. I can't get to whatever it is, you know, my dream is. Whatever it is that God's, you know, having me do, you know, I, I can't do it. This block, this blockage is in my way. What am I going to do? I mean, are you going to do that? Because the truth of the matter is, once you're done crying and whining and moping, um, the vision is, that God has for you is still going to be there, and... You're still going to have to take steps to get there. You're still going to have to overcome the obstacle that's in front of you. I know people who are staring at obstacles today that have been an obstacle in their life for 30, 40 years. And they still have not overcome it. And I'm talking about character issues, really. When I, when I think of some of the things that I've, that, of the people I know. But it doesn't matter what the issue is. It doesn't matter whether it's a character issue, whether it's a, uh, a technical issue, equipment issue, uh, our van broke down, now how are we going to get to the show, whatever whatever it is, it's like there's something that you can do to, to get there. And if you can't overcome that obstacle in the moment, then you might just have to wait. That might be the obstacle, that might be the, the obstacle you have to overcome, but that might be the tough part of overcoming is just having to, having to wait. And chill for a little bit but I, I just know that in most cases there's something that you can do to move forward in the vision that God has for you so be encouraged guys and if you want you can subscribe to this channel because video editor or not I'm still gonna be coming at you with the encouragement okay okay <laughs> all right guys love you see you later